Okay, I'm going to show you some faux painting techniques, which techniques basically means the different kind of tools to get different effects. My name is Lorna Campadonico, and I am a faux painter and decorative artist. So once again, we've got the glaze. The glaze is a third paint, a third water, and a third glazing liquid. It's the consistency of cream. You usually roll it on the wall and keep the edge wet. If you're doing a wall this size, you always want to have a wet rag wet down the wall and then keep the edge wet so you don't get a hard line of the paint and then you'll move the paint into the other paint. Um, one technique is to just roll the glaze on and you take your, this is called a duster brush, I call it a dry brush or a finishing brush and this is a, just a four inch brush that I use for the same thing. What these brushes do is they take the glaze and they move it so it doesn't look like it was rolled on and it's all spongy and it becomes very uh, more simplified and more sophisticated. And you're going to work all those lines out. And then we have techniques using different materials. Now the plastic I use in a lot of different things. I, I put paint on this. Now say we have the paint glaze there. You can fold up the plastic, roll some paint on it, and put this on the wall and just tap it down and you get some texture in your glaze, over your glaze that you've done. It, just for different elements, you can do different colors. You can do as much or as little as you want. Then over here, if you want to make more texture, you can use your stippling brush again and just push down the paint and get a texture going in there. This is one I'm sure you've seen on a lot of faux painted furniture. Um, it's a lot of movement and a lot of texture for a large wall, so I would only use it on smaller walls. Now, if you do stipple or do a, a type of pattern like that, you can always go over it and soften it. Let's try the other brush. I think it might be a little softer. So you allow some of that to come through. Well, that sort of washed it out. But down in here, if you see that, you get that element and just keep softening the wall. And on the third one, you can take a rag, a wet rag, and you can just move the paint around, creating kind of a washed effect. And you always, when you use these tools, I always back them up and soften them with the dry finishing brush because it just doesn't look finished. And we can incorporate, you can always incorporate more colors with that. Let's try the stippling again. Stipple, color wash and then texturing over. And if you get drips, always stipple it out. And that's some faux finishing techniques, and I'm Morning Campadonico.